what happens when materials are subjected to extreme temperatures and pressures. And I'm not talking about your regular old atmospheric pressure, I'm talking about the kind of pressure that exists at the center of implosions or in the hearts of stars. Well, the answer might be shocking. December preview of the Science and Technology Review, we are exploring the world of shock physics. But what's so shocking about physics? Well, to get an idea, let's go inside the High Explosives Applications Facility and find out. So shock physics is a way of studying um, states of matter that we can't access at normal temperature and pressure. For example, scientists are working on something called fusion ignition, which requires taking hydrogen, which has something like a fraction of the density of water, to 100 times the density of lead. And lead is really dense. So you can tell this endeavor requires a lot of smooshing. It takes some serious compression to reach those kinds of pressures. So how do you do that in a lab? To try and achieve and study these really extreme conditions like fusion and other experiments, scientists conduct what are called dynamic compression experiments. These kinds of experiments use a laser or a gas gun that generates shock waves to rapidly raise either the temperature or the density or the pressure of a material for a tiny amount of time, like a nanosecond. Within this paradigm, different techniques can yield different results. One kind of laser can reach faster compression, another kind of laser reaches higher temperatures, while gas guns tend to be the most accurate. We, we can measure, for instance, the electrical conductivity of a material that have very high pressure. In fact, we're probably only one or two facilities in the world that actually can do that measurement. That's not to be that unique to uh, Livermore. Back it up for a second. What is a gas gun? So a gas gun is basically a cannon on steroids, and it will send a projectile screaming at eight kilometers a second, where it smacks into a target. And so what you end up doing with shock physics is studying these very highly compressed states to understand what happens to matter under very extreme conditions. We use this to, to, to do very high accuracy, very high precision studies of material properties under very high pressure. Understanding how materials behave in these extreme conditions can help researchers at Lawrence Livermore better understand how materials behave in the middle of an explosion or in the core of something like Jupiter. These kinds of experiments also have many other applications, both in basic research and in research in the interest of national security. To learn more about gas guns, lasers, material science, shock physics, and anything else you could ever want to know, check out the December issue of the Science and Technology Review. Click the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all your previews, and thanks for watching. It's